What if I told you that a wedding day, meant to be the happiest moment of someone's life, could turn into a horrifying nightmare? The story of Gladys Ricard is one of love, betrayal, and unthinkable violence. A story that still echoes in the hearts of those who knew her and beyond. On September 26, 1999, in a quiet neighborhood in Ridgefield, New Jersey, a chilling crime unfolded that would shock the nation and expose the hidden dangers lurking in toxic relationships. Gladys Ricard was a beautiful, kind-hearted woman who seemed to have it all. She was deeply loved by her friends and family. And after a difficult breakup with her longtime partner, Agustin Garcia, she was ready to start a new chapter in her life. Gladys had found love again with James Preston, the man she planned to marry on that fateful day in 1999. The house was buzzing with excitement as friends and family helped her prepare for the ceremony. Dressed in her white wedding gown, Gladys was surrounded by joy and love, and for a moment, everything felt perfect. But lurking in the shadows was a man who couldn't bear to let her go. Agustin Garcia, a successful businessman, had once been the love of Gladys's life. But as time passed, his charm faded, revealing a dark side marked by possessiveness and control. The relationship deteriorated, and Gladys made the brave decision to leave him, hoping to find peace and happiness elsewhere. But Garcia wasn't ready to let her go. He became increasingly obsessive, unable to accept that Gladys was moving on without him. When he learned about her upcoming wedding, it was more than he could bear. Consumed by anger and jealousy, Garcia made a decision that would change everything. That morning, as Gladys laughed with her bridesmaids and posed for pre-wedding photos, Garcia appeared at her home, uninvited and unwelcome. He was holding a bouquet of flowers, deceptive gesture of love and goodwill, but the reality was far more sinister. In his mind, this wasn't a wedding day. It was a day of reckoning. Without warning, Garcia pulled out a gun and in front of everyone, opened fire. He shot Gladys three times, killing her instantly. Photographer, who was there to capture the happiest moments of Gladys's life, instead documented the seconds before her death. Screams echoed through the house as guests tried to comprehend the horror they had just witnessed. Garcia fled, but he didn't get far. Police quickly apprehended him just blocks away, his hands still stained with the blood of the woman he claimed to love. Case became a media sensation, not just because of the brutal nature of the crime, but because it laid bare the toxic mix of love, obsession, and entitlement that led to Gladys' murder. In the courtroom, Garcia's defense argued that he was overcome by grief and heartbreak. Seeing Gladys in her wedding dress was too much for him to bear. But the prosecution painted a much darker picture. Garcia was a jealous, controlling man who could not handle rejection. They argued that he had stalked and harassed Gladys for months, making it clear that if he couldn't have her, no one would. The jury saw through his claims of emotional distress and found him guilty of first-degree murder. In 2001, Agustin Garcia was sentenced to life in prison, with the possibility of parole after 30 years. But for Gladys's family, no sentence could ever bring back the woman they had lost. Gladys Ricard's death became a symbol of the devastating impact of domestic violence. Served as a wake-up call, stark reminder of the danger lurking behind seemingly normal relationships. Her murder sparked discussions on the importance of recognizing the warning signs of abuse and the need for stronger protections for those trying to escape dangerous situations. In honor of her memory, the annual Brides March was established. A powerful event where participants, many dressed in wedding attire, marched through New York and New Jersey to raise awareness about domestic violence. The march serves as both a tribute to Gladys and a call to action, urging communities to do more to protect those at risk. Gladys's story resonated deeply, especially within the Latino community, where issues of machismo and possessiveness often go unspoken. It highlighted the silent suffering many endure in abusive relationships and underscored the importance of mental health support for those grappling with obsessive and destructive emotions. Media coverage of the case brought Gladys's story into living rooms across the country, forcing viewers to confront the chilling reality of what can happen when love earns lethal. Gladys Ricard's tragic end is not just a tale of one woman's stolen future, but a broader commentary on the dangers of unchecked obsession and control. 
It's a story that continues to haunt and inspire, reminding us all of the importance of vigilance, support, and action in the face of domestic violence. The Bride's March, held each year in her honor, ensures that Gladys's legacy lives on, serving as a poignant reminder of the ongoing battle to protect those who suffer in silence. Gladys Ricard's story is a testament to the need for change, urging us all to look beyond the surface and recognize the hidden struggles that so many endure. And that's the heartbreaking story of Gladys Ricard, a reminder of how love, when tainted by jealousy and control, can turn deadly. Her legacy lives on through the annual Brides March, shining a light on the silent suffering of domestic violence victims. If this story moved you, Remember to stay vigilant and support those around you who might be facing similar struggles. If you found this video compelling, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more true crime stories that reveal the hidden realities behind the headlines. Let's keep Gladys's memory alive by continuing the conversation and raising awareness. Thank you for watching, and stay safe.